Hi, this is George, and I'm going to show you how to get started with Cloud Library on your smartphone. Cloud Library is an app that allows you to borrow free ebooks using your library membership. It's available on a range of platforms, including Android, iOS, Windows, and more. I'm on an Android phone, so the first step is to open the Google Play Store. Tap in the search bar at the top and start typing Cloud Library. When Cloud Library pops up as a suggestion, tap on it. Click Install and the download will begin. When it has finished, tap Open. The app will load up and ask you to press anywhere on screen. On the next screen, you'll be asked to select your country, region and library. I've chosen United Kingdom, England and Libraries West. Then there are the terms and conditions. It's up to you how thoroughly you want to read them. Now tap Accept and type in your library card information. You will be shown a tour of some of the features that you can either choose to skip or read. Say OK to the pop-up that tells you where to find this info later on. Now you've reached the home area. At the top is a representation of your library card. Below that is the notifications area, and at the bottom are the icons for the main parts of the app. If we tap on the My Books icon, we can see that this area is empty at the moment, so it's time to move on to borrowing our first book. To browse for a book, we're going to tap on Search to bring up some suggestions. Tap on the book's cover to open the book's details page. Scroll down the page to get to the blurb. Press the green Borrow button, then the blue Read button. There is just a short wait while the book downloads. It will load up the book, starting with the cover. There is a page counter at the bottom of the screen. Swipe from the right of the screen to the left to turn the page. If you swipe from the left of the page to the right, you can flick back. To bring up an options menu while reading, tap anywhere on the page. There is a bar along the bottom. The arrows allow you to go forwards and backwards through pages you've already read. You can drag the blue dot along the line to skip quickly to other parts of the book. One option you might like to change in the menu is the text size. Tap the capital and lowercase a icon. If you would like to make the font more readable, press the A plus button, or press A minus to make it smaller. You can press back in the top left corner to leave the book, or press the back button on your phone. You might want to search for a particular author or title, so on the bottom menu, tap search. I'd like to borrow a book now, so I'm going to filter out all the books that are currently on loan by tapping on the downward arrow to the right of the search box. Tick the Available Now option, and also the eBooks option, and then press Apply. Tap in the search bar at the top and start typing a title to bring up suggestions. Tap on the cover and you will get more details. Tap Borrow to add to your current reading. Then I'm going to tap back several times and go to My Books. Here you can see books you have out, books you've borrowed, books you have reserved, and saved books. If you've finished with a title, you can return it before it's due. This helps make books more available to other users. You just need to press Return and then OK to confirm. If you don't do this though, there are no late fees to worry about. The loan automatically ends and the ebook becomes available on the catalogue. If you need more time and the book hasn't been reserved, a renew button will appear next to it three days before it's due so you can extend your loan. To view books you've had before, just press on History in the My Books section. 
If you would like to reserve a book that is currently on loan, tap the search option. I'm going to untick the available now setting in options to search the whole catalogue. Tap on the cover and then choose the blue hold button. It will ask if you want to receive email notification when the ebook becomes available. If you're a new user and haven't confirmed your email yet, click resend email verification. Open your email, click the link and you'll get a confirmation message. Go back to the app, make sure all the settings are turned on and then tap apply. Go back to my books and tap holds to review your holds. It lets you know what the current wait time is. If you no longer want a reservation, press the remove hold button and OK to confirm. To just have a browse of the categories and discover new ebooks, go to search. You can have a look at the featured categories tab or widen your search to all categories. They are sorted into genres such as crime, historical, thriller and more. So hopefully now you've got started with Cloud Library on your smartphone. Part two of this video, the pro tips, will cover some of the more advanced features of the app for those who'd like to know more. What ebooks are you reading on Cloud Library at the moment? Let us know in the comments below. If you found the video useful, please like and share. Check out our social media accounts for our latest posts. And thanks for watching.